friends, what is up? We are back with another Vlogmas video. I am headed home, towards my house at least, from where I've been nannying or babysitting. Y'all, I'm exhausted. Like, I don't even know how to put it into words. Like, tired. I've been struggling still, I guess, to fall asleep just because I've gotten on clock of not going to bed until like after 11 so I haven't been able to go to bed before 11 and I've been ha I've had to get up at like six the last two days so I am literally tired um, and I have to get up tomorrow and I'm excited like it's a fun thing I'm doing I'm taking the kid I tutor and like my best friend who used to tutor him Sophie y'all know Sophie um, I'm taking them we're going to the movies tomorrow see the Grinch. It's like my little Christmas present to the boy I tutor. Fun thing for us all to do. That being said, I have to get up and like do stuff tomorrow. <laughs> and I just want to be lazy tonight and like just chill out, watch a movie. I recorded Charlie Brown Christmas, which is my favorite Christmas movie. Watch that. Just relax. So that's what we're doing. Um, I car in front of me is literally going so slow. Um, and now for dinner, there is this new like Thai place by my house that I want to try, but I'm also really craving Taco Bell, so I don't know if I'm feeling adventurous or not. But yeah, that's kind of the jam for the day. So I will thought I would just start off this vlog. This vlog will consist of today, which is Friday. Tomorrow, which is Saturday and Sunday, and then it'll go up sometime on Sunday. Um, I think I mentioned this before, but it's just like a compilation type video. So, yeah. good morning. Today is Sunday, December 23rd. Yes, it is currently 10 a.m. I have church this morning, and then I'm gonna run to Target and then edit this video and that's kind of the plan uh the next few days are going to be exciting i think i'm just going to do a big like holiday vlog because tomorrow and um tuesday christmas i have some sit down videos planned they're um haul type videos because tomorrow's my birthday and so i'm gonna do a what I got for my birthday video and then Tuesday the grand finale will be a what I got for Christmas video so I'm probably gonna end up doing a vlog of like stuff tomorrow and Tuesday I'm also drinking it's a salted caramel mocha it's really good from uh, Starbucks like a pre-done drink this headband is new. I'm really liking my outfit today. This is a new headband from Target. I have on this cardigan from Target as well. This top is from Altered State Jeans. And then I have on my mule loafers from Target. Um, my earrings are from Altered State. My earring, other earring is Tory Burch. Uh, my shoe flipped. My ring is Tory Burch, my David Yerman, Apple Watch, Tiffany necklace, or Tiffany necklace and Tiffany bracelet. <clears throat> and the trusty York tote. That's kind of the fit for the day. Um, I think I'm gonna go get a bagel and then head to church. Um, I'm gonna be super early, but it's fine. I kind of am bored, so. Sorry, so as I'm back, I think I'm going to go to Einstein this morning because it's a drive through and I don't really feel like I'm going to get in anywhere. I want like a cinnamon bagel. That sounds really good. So I'm going to go get a bagel. And then I don't know what I'm going to do for the next like hour. But it's okay. I'll figure out something. Uh, <coughs> that was beautiful. Oh my gosh. So I should tell this story. So yesterday, I didn't vlog like at all. Um, and I, t I planned on vlogging, but yesterday I went to, I went to Target. I think I could have gone to Target literally every day for like the last week. Um, but yesterday my mom, my grandmother and I went to Target 
to get Christmas stocking stuff, which was fun. And then I went to see the new Grinch movie with um, the boy I tutor and my friend Sophie. And I meant to vlog, and then I just kind of forgot. And it was so cute. It was such a good movie. I would highly recommend it if you haven't seen it. It's like, I've always loved the cartoon Grinch a lot better than the, like, real life Jim Carrey version of the Grinch um, and so it was kind of like a remake of the cartoon and it was just so good it was so sweet I would definitely recommend it um, so I saw that and then I went to the grocery store with my mom and then I think that was it no yeah that was pretty much it for my day yesterday so I yeah so I didn't really get a lot of footage but so last night we went to the grocery store and it was me, my mom, and my brother and then we went to get pizza from Little Caesars and my mom, we got to that Little Caesars and the drive through line was like crazy long. So she went in to get it and it was took like 15, 20 minutes and finally I texted her because I had seen people go in and like just leave with pizzas like two seconds later and so I was like what's going on and it turned out to be this whole thing and like she had to get a refund it was crazy um super weird so it was just I guess it was a you had to be there moment I just to the curb I just need to go away the curb oh my gosh I don't stare like that so that guy just gave me a glare because I hit the curb that was very rude and unnecessary you do not need to do that sir Sometimes I get like I'm a talkative driver so like when I'm driving and like things are happening I have to talk like even if I'm not vlogging or filming like I just talk when I drive it gets a thing I do um, I'm trying to think so yeah I'm gonna go to Target after church because why not go seven days in a row um, no but I need to get Christmas pajamas and I'm hoping they aren't out if they're out It'll be okay. But I'm hoping they won't be. So that's kind of it. I'm going to get a bagel. And then go to church. I'll probably check back in when I get to church. Because I'm just going to sit in my car for a little while and eat my bagel. So I'll check back in with y'all. So it is now 10.35. And I am at church. Um, I have my bagel. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to eat my bagel and talk for a minute. Um, like a baby mukbang. Uh, it's a cinnamon sugar bagel. Ooh, it smells really good. I've never had one before from Einstein. I've only had one from Panera. But this smells good, so we'll see. Um, and talk for a minute. So, um, and this is not coming from a perspective. This is coming strictly from a viewer and an enjoyer and a someone who really loves YouTube. Um, it's coming from that perspective. Obviously, I make videos, but like I'm nowhere near have any level of success. I would never even try to say that to where like that's the perspective I'm coming from. Like my perspective on what I'm about to talk about is strictly from a viewer standpoint. Um, and this can go like I watch a pretty wide range of videos. Typically, vlog style videos. Obviously, that's what I make. Um, the content I like, but. Um, I may, like, I enjoy, I watch other people too, but, like, I watch a lot of lifestyle vlogger type people, a few family vlogs, like this Gathered Nest, um, the Stoffer Life, the R Life, um, to Christina Braley, to, um, Alex and Michael, Mallory Irvin, um, Lipsticks and Lattes, Brooke Masio, I think that's how you say it, Gretchen, Garrity, uh, Danielle, Coraline, um, I'm trying to think of like big ones, I mean I like David Dobrik obviously, um, I mean there's others, but like those are kind of like the ones I'm thinking of off the top of my head, um, so I watch a range of videos, and I would just like to start off by saying, I think that in this, again, coming strictly from a viewer perspective, it's come up on a lot of videos, I think recently, I know Lipstick and Lattes has had a video about it. Well, even Laura DIY and Remy Ashton have had videos like this in the last few weeks. Um, Brooke Masio did her podcast, Gals on the Go, the most recent episode, which is what I was just listening to, um, talks about it. She did a video about it as well. 
like I think as a viewer we get so invested I'm gonna eat now pretty good we get invested in the lives of these people right we watch you know graduate from high school go to college their daily life of college their when it comes to family vlogs we watch them give birth to their children and we feel like we are so ingrained in their life that we deserve or some people I guess feel they deserve to know what's going on in people's lives and like at least in my opinion that's the furthest thing from the truth like they owe us nothing and I think like again as a viewer like we totally sometimes I guess people just forget that like they're people too and like Yes, YouTube is a form of entertainment, but it's not like a scripted TV show. I mean, it's people's lives. And so, like, Lipstick and Lattes, for example, her Vlogmas video yesterday that went up on Saturday morning, <clears throat> she talked about how, like, she's been getting questions since the day she started law school of, like, what her LSAT score was. And, like, whose business is that? Like, if my best friend, you know, was going to law school... Like, I would maybe ask her her LSAT, but if it was just someone that I, like, knew in passing or, like, was friends with but wasn't that close with, I wouldn't even ask them, oh, well, what'd you get on your LSAT? Like, that is insanely rude. And then, like, when it comes to Brooke Mashia, like, as a college student, like, first of all, I will vouch for the fact that most of the time people skip class. Like, let's just be real. I skip class, and I skipped class way more than I should have this semester. Like, I will be the first to admit that. But, like, people skip class, like, that's a reality I guess like of being in college like it's just something that happens like people do it a lot I know people who've like literally never gone to a class that they have and just showed them for tests I'm not that person like that would cause me so much more anxiety than I already have but people do that and I think like Brooke was saying like people get on to her for not going to class when a that's no one's business why she didn't go and b like that's just like people do that all the time like it's crazy and like getting all, like you have no right to know anyone's grades like even some of my like closest friends don't know my grades like I don't think any of us deserve to know anyone's grades especially someone who you just know of from YouTube like that is insane to me that she has been getting asked like what her grades were and then when it comes to relationships too like with like Remy's talked a lot about relationships Laura DIYs the whole video is about relationships we don't deserve to know anything about anyone's relationships. Like, if they want to put their relationships online, great. But if they don't, like, that's their business. That's no one else's business. And we don't have a right to know that. Or, like, you know, when you watch a family vlog and you're like, well, when are you going to have more kids? When are you going to have more kids? Why aren't you having any more kids? When are you going to have more kids? Are you going to have more kids? Like, you just got to learn to stop asking people that question. Because you don't know what people's lives are like and what they're going through in their life. And, like, again, we have zero right to know anything about these people's lives except for what they want us to know. And, like, I think that's just the perspective that, as a viewer, you have to remember. And, like, you can wonder and ask yourself, I wonder what she got on the LSAT, or I wonder what her grades were, or I wonder if they're going to have more kids, or if she's a boyfriend. But, like, don't ask someone that. Like, that's so rude, and it just blows my mind that people genuinely think that that's okay. And, like, again, this is totally coming from a viewer's perspective. Like, that is crazy to me that, like, I would never expect to be able to get that kind of information about someone's life. Have I wondered it? Many times, yes. But I would never think that it's okay to ask someone that question. It's just so rude. And I think, again, as viewers, people forget that. But, like, this is a friendly reminder that, like, we're not. Just remember, you deserve to know nothing. Like, you get to know what they want you to know, and that's it. That was my rant for the day. I am probably not even going to edit like this part. Like I'm probably going to insert this whole rant. So that was a seven minute rant. Um, hope y'all enjoyed that and I will check back in later. Where's the pizza? Hello. Back in the car. I went to lunch. I took like a little clip that I will have inserted here. And now I am at Target. Um, again, as always. Um, I need Christmas pajamas, um, and I also need, 
one more thing and I can't remember what it is. Leggings, any tights. Um, because they need to go under my Christmas dress for tomorrow. So yeah, that's the game plan. And um, Target is crazy right at the moment. Don't really know if I'm gonna be able to find anywhere to park. Um, let's hope so, but who really knows, so. There's like lots of people and it's really annoying and this lady in front of me keeps trying to reverse and that stresses me out. I don't like that and I just really don't like this. This was probably the worst idea I've ever had, but hmm, yet here I am. So let's see. Let's, I, I'm honestly about to just park at Earth Fair. Like I'm so tempted. Okay, really? I don't really know what's going on. I don't like this even like one bit. Like I'm actually gonna freak out. Uh, I think I'm gonna show y'all my pajama options. Oh, I got a spot, y'all. We're coming in. I got a spot, I got a spot, I got a spot. Yes. Um, I'm gonna show y'all the options, but I'm not gonna show you exactly which ones I get. Because you'll have to wait and you'll have to check out my what I got for Christmas videos to know exactly what pajamas I end up choosing. So that'll be day number 12. Um, look at what I got at church today. Let me show you this before I get out of the car. My church, for, like they have a college ministry for all the college students that go to my church. And they gave me this little goodie bag and it's like full of food and tissues and pins and highlighters. So sweet. So we're gonna go in, braid the crowd, and I will update you from inside. It is a madhouse. Oh, look. Well, the ones I want they have, I think. Just hopefully my size. If not, we're gonna have to go with a plan B. Or a small, possibly. Oh, those are shorts. Alright, we made it out of Target in one piece, didn't get hit by a car, didn't get trampled, so we're doing good. Um, now if I can back out without getting in an accident, we will also be good. This guy is like literally paying no attention. I hate parking lot. Literally almost hit me, son. I don't appreciate that. I feel personally attacked. Um, yeah, so now I am headed back home. I got opaque tights, or sheer tights. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Sheer tights, Christmas pajamas, and that was it. That's all I came for. Um, yeah, so now I'm headed home. I'm gonna edit this video, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. But I hope y'all enjoyed day number 10 of the 12 days of Vlogmas, which is crazy. Tomorrow I will see y'all for day number 11 and then one more day and it's done. Although I've really been enjoying posting and editing and all of that. So who knows, probably is going to be still a lot of videos going up. But um, yeah, so I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, like, or 
obviously thumbs up and like are the same thing. Comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss a post. If you have any ideas for any sit down videos you would like to see, I just saw my mom. Um, if you have any ideas for sit down videos you would like to see, please leave them down in the comment section below. And um, I will see y'all tomorrow for day number 11, AKA my birthday.